freed after 29 years in Italian and Turkish jails. The man who knows what lay behind the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II is hidden from view. The Polish Pope was shot and nearly killed in Rome's St. Peter's Square by Mehmet Ali Adja, who accused the pontiff of being commander of the Crusaders against Islam. Adja, a Turk, claimed to be acting alone, but later implicated the Soviet KGB and Bulgarian Secret Service in a plot believed to be in revenge for the pontiff's covert support of Poland's anti-communist movement. Nothing was ever proven. Now he wants to return to Rome to meet Pope Benedict. I don't think he should be allowed back here as this is where it happened and it's the scene of the crime. Maybe just out of respect, don't come back. If he apologized for this uh, uh, crime and then maybe, yeah, I, I, I think he should be allowed to come to see Pope and then to pray inside St. Peter's. If he comes out, he should not be allowed out of Turkey. Pope John Paul II believed there was an international conspiracy to kill him and Adja was merely a puppet. He visited his would-be murderer in his Italian jail in 1983 and forgave him. It is impossible that he did it alone. We know that there were other people who helped him, but he never gave full information about that. Till the last moment, he kept silence. Acha was already a convicted murderer when he shot the Pope, on the run from Turkey after killing a respected Turkish newspaper editor. Acha was affiliated with the shadowy far-right militant group the Grey Wolves, itself blamed for many extrajudicial killings in Turkey. In the past week, his lawyers have released letters from their client where he denounces violence and terrorism while offering to go to Afghanistan to kill Osama bin Laden. Acha says he's considering more than 50 book and film offers to tell the real story of his life. In the past, he's claimed to be the new messiah. He said this week that he'd applied for Polish citizenship, but had been turned down. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera.